Consider a hash table of size 7 with starting index 0 and a hash function 3x plus 4 mod 7. Now we need to insert this sequence of numbers in the table using closed hashing and find the contents of the table. In the question it is given that closed hashing is used which only gives the information that in a cell only one key can be present. So if key A is present then another key P which also maps to index 3 cannot be put at this location. So we need some technique in order to insert P into this table. So some technique in closed hashing are these linear probing, quadratic probing, double hashing. So it is not mentioned in the question as to which technique to use. So we'll use linear probing. Now these technique also requires some more information. Therefore these cannot be used. In linear probing we start at the index given by the hash function and search the table sequentially until we find an empty cell to insert the value. So in this case when P also maps to index 3 there is a collision we go to index 4. Now this cell is empty so we insert P at this location. Now if there is another key R which also maps to index 3 so there is a collision we move to 4 again there is a collision we move to 5 and now the cell is empty so we insert R at this location. Now let's solve the question. So this is an empty hash table of size 7 indexed from 0 to 6 and in this table we'll keep the mapping of key and the hash value. For that we are going to use this hash function given in the question. So for key 1 we'll put this in place of x so this number becomes 7. So 7 when divide by 7 leaves 0 as remainder. Similarly, for 3, we'll get 9 plus 4, that is 13, and 13 when divided by 7 leaves 6 as remainder. Similarly, we'll find hash values for all these keys. Now we will insert these keys into this table. So key 1 hashes to 0, so we go to index 0. The cell is empty, so we put 1 at this location. Next is key 3, maps to index 6. This cell is also empty, so we put 3 at this location. Next is 8, which maps to 0. Now there is a collision, so we use linear probing to resolve it. That is, we search the table sequentially. Now this cell is empty, so we put 8 at this location. Next key is 10, which maps to index 6. So there is a collision, so we again search for the first empty slot. Now index 2 is empty, so we insert 10 at this location. So the final content of the table is 1, 8, 10, then 3 empty cells and 3. So final answer is option B.